Namaste, my name is Pooja and in this video I'll be sharing with you two of my new moon rituals. The new moon represents the beginning of the moon cycle. In this lunar phase, the power of intentions is amplified. It is a phase where the moon and the sky are at their darkest and this darkness represents fertile soil, like a fertile ground that is ready to receive the seeds of your intentions, the seeds of those dreams that you wish to manifest. So it's a very, very important time to set your intentions and walk towards your future intentions. And I find that these practices are even more beneficial during these times because they are challenging times. We might all be facing certain fears or uncertainties that cloud our mind. And these practices help to gain more clarity in the mind, but also help us to find motivation and inspiration to guide us towards manifesting those dreams. Now these two practices are Tratak. Tratak is candle flame gazing meditation. And the second one is journaling intention. So I'll be speaking about both. Now, before these two rituals, I have a whole set of other rituals that I like to follow. I've spoken about these rituals in another video. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. That is a full moon ritual video, but there are some practices that I do regardless, whether it is um, new moon or full moon, because it just, those rituals just help to cleanse the aura, cleanse the space, clean um, the energy around. And those rituals are soaking my feet in salt water, scrubbing my body with some rock salt during my shower, um, cleaning my environment, so cleaning my entire house and allowing um, air circulation just to let go of any negative energies or entities that might have attached themselves to this space. Um, and then lighting candles and incense sticks just helps to create a sense of peace, a sense of ease and set the tone for these rituals. All right, so please do have a look at that video and know more about those rituals as well. Also, please do subscribe to the channel to get to see more of such videos in the future and stay connected and do write comments and questions if you have any um, and I'll be happy to reply to those. Also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is yogtara. I've written it down in the description box below so that you can stay connected and get to know about these small rituals as and when I post them. All right, so coming to the first ritual. The first ritual is Tratak meditation. And the reason I like to do Tratak meditation before writing down my intentions is that Tratak is a form of meditation that helps to gain clarity in the mind. It helps to activate our intuitive powers. It helps to enhance concentration and focus because what we're actually doing is that we are stilling the eyes. We're making the eyes really, really still on one point, which is the candle flame. And there is a direct connection between our eyes and the dominant um, hemisphere of our brain. And by focusing our gaze on one single point, which is forward and in the center, uh, helps us to bring a balance in both the hemispheres of the brain that also helps us to find focus and calm. The more we're stressed, the more our eyes move. That has been uh, in many, many studies. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate now how to do Tratak meditation. And please stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll also talk about some other benefits that this meditation offers. And then I'll be talking to you about journaling intentions and how to journal, how to write intentions in the best way possible. Tratak meditation is candle flame gazing meditation. And as the name suggests, all you need for this meditation is a candle and a spot that makes you feel at ease and where you can sit comfortably. Now for the purpose of this video, of course, I've kept the lights on and the curtains are open so that you can see what I'm doing, but you want to create a dark environment. So go ahead and close your curtains and switch off the lights. 
Also, you want to find a spot uh, where you have a clear background. So you don't want too many things behind the flame, behind the candle, because that will shift your focus. That might shift your focus. The last thing you want to remember is that if you have the fan or the AC on, switch them off just for these few minutes because that will help to keep the flame steady. If the fan is running, it might have the, the flame dancing around. And you really want the flame to be still uh, because you want to focus your gaze on the, the still flame. All right. Last thing I'm going to say is that if you have any serious eye conditions or, or disorders, please don't practice this uh, meditation um, and always consult a doctor if you have any doubts. All right. Now, um, I've used a green color candle because I have different colors. I like to use these candles because it just helps me focus a little more on the area or the energetic center that I want to focus on. Um, I like to use purple a lot because purple um, relates to Agnya Chakra, which is the third eye center, which is our seat of intuition. Um, but today I'm using green to demonstrate. Green uh, relates to the heart center, Anahat Chakra, which is also a very, very beautiful um, center to connect to for this meditation. All right. Now, uh, you want to be seated comfortably about an arm's distance away from your candle and you want the flame to be at your eyes level. So not too high because that will strain your forehead and not too low. Just at the same level as your eyes. And you don't want to practice this for more than 10 minutes. Okay, less than 10 minutes and stop whenever you think it's too much for you. Okay, the, the purpose of this meditation is to calm the mind, to um, improve your focus and concentration, and it also helps to improve and enhance your visualization skills. You'll know why in just a minute. All right, now once you are seated comfortably, make sure that your spine is upright, relax your shoulders and close your eyes to start. We're going to start by just taking natural, smooth, effortless breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. And allow yourself to connect to your inner environment through your breath. Just noticing the inhalation and the exhalation is a great way to ground yourself, to center yourself. And once you've taken a couple of breaths, slowly start to blink your eyes to open. And now we're going to continue breathing naturally and we're going to focus our gaze on the flame without straining the eyes and keep your soft gaze on the flame for as long as you can without blinking. And it is okay if it takes you some time to get used to this. I couldn't hold my eyes open for more than 10 seconds when I started, which is okay. If you really, really need to blink, you blink and then try to keep your eyes open as long as you can. And once you've done maybe 10, 15 seconds or longer, if you can, close your eyes. Now, this is a very important part. Once you close your eyes, visualize the image of the flame in the center of your eyebrows or in your heart, whatever resonates with you more. And this is really what helps you enhance your visualization skills. So visualize the image of the flame in your mind's eye. Take a couple of breaths and then we'll start that all over again. Blink your eyes to open. Focus your gaze on the flame without blinking if possible. Again, remember to keep all your facial muscles soft. And then close your eyes and bring back the image of the flame in your mind's eye or in your heart space. And hold that image there, breathe. And you don't need to do anything else. You just need to bring back that image in your mind's eye. And then blink your eyes to open. Last round 
We're going to focus our soft gaze on the flame and there's nothing else you need to do again. You just need to look at the flame. And your, your eyes might start to water, which is absolutely normal if you're not blinking. In fact, this is why this is also a kriya, a cleansing technique in Hatha Yoga. And then go ahead and close your eyes and one last time visualize the image of the flame in your mind's eye. And then blink your eyes to open. So this was Tratak meditation for you, a very, very powerful technique to enhance our intuitive powers, uh, to improve visualization skills and to calm the mind. All right. Um, and I like to do this before the next uh, ritual. The next ritual is uh, writing down my intentions. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk a little more about writing down intentions next. I will now talk about um, the next ritual, which is writing down intentions. And all you need for this ritual, if you want to practice it as well, is a book and a pen. Now, a few things you want to remember is that the book needs to be a new one. Okay, it does not mean that you need to have a new book every new moon, but it just means that if you're starting off with this ritual, Start with a new book. As you can see, this one is still packed and I'm going to open it just before I start uh, writing my intentions. And the reason you want a new book is that you want to avoid any transfer of past energies. You want it to be a clean new book. Also, I said pen instead of pencil because you want to write with something that is permanent and that you cannot erase because you want to create that as your reality. All right, now how do we write intentions? First, before even writing those intentions, what I like to do personally is to say a prayer and I would urge you to do the same. And the prayer can be a very, very simple one to um, invoke the energies or the cosmic energy, the universal energy that is all around you to guide you through this ritual. And this is really to um, call upon the universal wisdom or your higher consciousness to guide you through this, to help you find more inspiration or motivation and to help to activate your intuitive powers. All right. Now, once you've said the prayer, it is also very important to remember to say thank you. Uh, you can say this before writing or even after or both. Just say thank you. And showing gratitude is very important um, because that helps you open up a lot of doors in general. And say thank you for the universe putting everything or setting everything into its place. Even if you feel that hasn't happened, which most probably it hasn't because you want to manifest that, imagine it has already. Imagine that things are falling in place, things are perfect just the way they are and you have manifested them and say thank you for that. Say thank you for this higher consciousness for guiding you. Now once we've done that, we're ready to start writing. When you start writing, write down the date. It's always good to start with the date of that new moon you are writing um, uh, on and then write your intentions very clearly. Keep it simple, but keep it clear. Write down clearly what it is that you want to manifest. Write in a positive language and in the present tense. Present tense, again, because you want to write those intentions as if they have already happened, as if they are your reality. Now, let me give you a few examples. Um, I have a great job, a job in which I feel valued um, and I have great relationships, very, very healthy relationships with my colleagues. Very simple clear, precise, and positive in the present tense, okay? And go ahead and write down your intentions in different areas of your life. So it could be in relation to your job, your health, your relationships, or anything else that you want to buy or to create in your life. Go ahead and write down in all areas of your life and put that into um, positive and clear intentions and write them down. 
All right, now another thing that you want to remember is that whatever you're writing, always write from a space of peace. So you're writing down these intentions with harm to none and with love in your heart. It's very, very important because you don't want to harm anyone through these intentions. You are just invoking and manifesting that which is yours, which you are deserving of. So if that helps you, you can say this out loud. I intend or I manifest with love in my heart and with harm to none etc 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 write down your intentions all right and don't worry if you aren't able to think of any intentions or you're uh, you're unable to think of things that you want to manifest you can simply tune in and write down your feelings right in this moment how are you feeling how do you wish to feel how do you wish to live your life and so so on and so forth and slowly slowly the more you ride the more you practice the more it'll start flowing from your mind right down it right down into your pen and onto your pages i hope that this was useful please do share and like this video if you found it useful do leave me a comment and subscribe to this channel to stay connected thank you and happy new moon namaste